So I just love using images like these to create really cool looking models and it's really really easy to do. You just model out um, some geometry that basically matches the image in question and then you can just project and unwrap uh, the, the image texture back onto the geometry. So you just uh, get an image that you want and you bring it into Blender and uh, line it up so that you can kind of model uh, from it. And um, then you can use the uh, basic cube, because I advise starting with a cube for most of the shapes. And in edit mode, you just kind of model and uh, extrude out all the basic geometry that you're going to need. A lot of times with these types of models, there's a lot of pieces that I'm going to be duplicating around later, like these uh, support legs. So there's really no need to model them on the other side. So I'll just model one and then I'll texture it and then I'll duplicate it over later. Another important thing to remember is that all this stuff can be smoothed out after the fact, but I advise doing really, really basic geometry for now because it makes it easier to texture later. When it comes to texturing, I usually plug the uh, image texture I want into the base color, into the specular, and into the normal. Uh, then I usually add in a bump map, and then I plug the image texture into the height of the bump, and I bring down the strength and press invert. The bump will just give a little bit of extra detail for later. Um, then I usually go over into the UV editor and I start uh, unwrapping this whole thing. I generally go by pieces and I usually use uh, the cube projection to unwrap whole bits. If it's something particularly uh, angular or specific, I sometimes will use project from view because that sometimes helps to even things out a little bit. Um, and you can just sort of drag around the edges until you get them where you want. And uh, once you're done with that, then you can start uh, beveling all the corners. And that's what really ties this whole process together, because once stuff is beveled, then the light performs a bit better on it, and it kind of wraps around the object and it looks way cooler. And uh, after you've done all that, then you can start adding in the finishing uh, touches to all the pieces. So like, uh, if you are like me and you didn't model out the rest of the legs, now would be the time to use the already textured leg and just duplicate it around to the other sides of the model and just kind of line everything all up. And it's, it's a pretty uh, quick process. Uh, it's way quicker than uh, making your own image texture. Um, and I highly advise doing this, at least for background objects, because it looks pretty good and it's pretty passable, especially if it's not the main focal point of the scene. 